Jay was a street dude. Not being aware of what's going on around you could be bad for your health. He wasn't the Jay-Z that we know now. He can almost do no wrong. Even his wrongs have a right to them. I don't know necessarily that he's changed so very much. He's who he is because he can rap better than pretty much everybody. And they battle several times, and, and Jay would light that ass up. I'm always going to be the alpha dog. That's who Jay is. He's a hustler. Everything that he does is calculated. He did this whole, like, gangster thing on me. And I told him, I said, this is like a mistake. I'm tired of being over. There's a point where you have to think about something greater than yourself in your own bank account. A breakup of Rockefeller was imminent. They had a friendship and a business relationship. I bet you Jay don't know I wasn't invited. I bet you that. Things didn't work out. For him to be who he is, he would have to separate himself. He wanted to be not the guy on the record label, but the guy who owned the record label. And even though they had that with Rockefeller, he wanted to be seen as the executive, not the employee. He's able to off with their heads when he needs to off with their heads. I don't think anyone anticipated both of them getting to the level of superstardom that they did. Beyonce took Jay to a whole different level. Well, he transcended the hip hop thing from music into clothing, into television. There's IBM, there's Apple, there's Jay-Z. It wasn't that he left the hood, it was that he just incorporated the rest of the world in his view.